Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. I'm going to show you how to repair this KitchenAid dishwasher. Are your dishes not getting clean or is it really loud? So ours was both of that. And I'm going to show you what the problem was. This is a KitchenAid. And the model number is a KU-DC-110-101-XBLA. This thing's about nine years old, but I'm going to show you how to take it apart. Okay, so this has been a really good dishwasher, other than this control panel has been kind of flaky. And I attribute that to this micro switch. I've had to replace this micro switch. So this control panel um, does come off. I've had to replace that micro switch because this control panel is, is normally, uh, it won't power up unless that micro switch makes. So, but then I didn't take it apart right and then I broke it. And then when you pull it, it kind of separates. So this thing's reached its end of life. And But I want to show you what I found, why it wasn't washing. Um, there's only one pump in the bottom. And it's got, to get, it's got to make enough pressure to get up here to these jets. So I found that these weren't even hardly turning. And there was hardly any water getting up here to the top rack. And I'm going to show you that pump. That pump gets clogged underneath all this. So the first thing you're going to do is take these out. Got these little clips. And then this hole, that just pulls out. Push those in so you don't get hurt. And then this one, of course, you just pull out. Okay, so the next step is we're going to put something to support this. Because you, inevitably you're going to be leaning on this door. And you'll break that door really quick. So get yourself a box. So get yourself a pretty good sized box that you can put underneath this door. And now I can lean on this and it's not going to break that hinge. Because, it, I mean, you don't want to lean on it, but you're going to end up leaning on it a little bit. So we've got this apart. Now, don't turn that screw. The first thing I did, I thought that screw turns. Um, that really has... Nothing to do with what we got going on. So the first thing we're going to do is we got to take this this water duct in the back out, which goes all the way to the top. And it's got these metal clips. And we got to kind of push the metal clip to the side. Okay. And then it comes out of the metal clips. Then lift this little uh, tab up now this assembly comes out as one piece so you had some metal clips right there and up at the top and there's those metal clips they're just springy you got to kind of push them out of the way and same up at the top now, this is what we want to grab. This may be a little hard the first time you do it, but you're going to rotate it a quarter turn this way. And then this whole assembly is going to pop up. See how easy that was? I probably spent an hour one time dealing with this, thinking that was a screw or something. That's how easy that comes up. Now, the one problem I did have with is... So this is like a filter, but it's very easily damaged and mine's come loose. So this prevents the big food chunks from going down into your pump. And so mine has become damaged, so I'm starting to get food particles and stuff down into my um, dishwasher pump. It does have a little garbage disposal on it, but it doesn't work very well. Okay, so you're going to need a screwdriver bit set. and You're going to need a T20. For these first screws, um, I just got this real cheapy one off of Amazon or Walmart with the screwdriver bit. Um, I've used it a bunch. So again, you need a T20. We're going to take out these four screws. Okay, so these screws come out. Now this next part, I've had mine off a few times, 
Mine is going to come off pretty easy, but it separates right here. Just kind of, it lifts straight up. You might have to pry on it a little bit. There. So you just got to kind of grab it, but that's where it separates. Okay. And now I want to show you that that's that filter I was telling you. That's the prefix. See how mine's all broken and stuff gets down in there. This is a good time to clean all this too. So here we have, this is the pump. And we're going to take this little cover off. There's another screw down there, but we got to get this water out of here first. And the best way is just to soak it up with a rag. You're going to want to clean this sensor. This is your dirty water sensor. And kind of clean this whole area. But we got to take this cover off. And there's a bunch of water we're going to get out. And you may have a bunch of food particles down in here, kind of blocking up the water. The water has to get down in here to the pump. So yeah, just get an old towel and just keep soaping it up. It doesn't take a whole bunch. Now there we've got the water out. Now we've got this other T screw. It's a size smaller. It's not the same size we used before. So for this next screw, you need a T15. So you need a T20 and a T15. This, this is just a cover and it's kind of kind of this, the first time you get it off it may be kind of hard but you should be able to just kind of wiggle it out okay now this is the supposed garbage disposal so if you get uh, food particles down this is the intake to your water pump and this is the reason it's not cleaning so what happens originally is um, you may not have known to clean this, so it, it, it fills up with food particles. And then what happens is sometimes this thing can't turn. This is like a little garbage disposal knife that turns. Anytime the water pump's turning, this turns. Now I'm gonna, this comes out, but I'm going to show you. It's got a little gear on there. So this thing, um, the reason it was loud was because this thing couldn't turn, and it's, it was... It was wearing the gear away. So down there is the impeller. This black thing, that's got some gears on it. That's the water pump. Now thankfully it doesn't damage the water pump. But the reason it's so loud is because it can hardly turn this. And those little white things, mine are all kind of ground away and it, it hardly turns this. But you can see this, is this when this backs up like it is, and this is, I cleaned this probably Shoot, a month ago, I think, maybe three or four weeks ago. So this, since that pre-filter is not working, we're getting quite a bit of food down here to the water pump. And so when you don't, when you, when your water pump can't get a lot of water, the first place you notice it is the top rack. It can't push that water up to the top rack. Your bottom dishes seem to do okay, but it's the top rack you notice first not getting clean. So this is pretty simple to clean. Um, you take it over to the sink. This stuff will all wash off pretty easy. Okay, so you might have, I've had popcorn down there. I've had uh, beans sprouting. So just make sure that whole area is nice and clean. Um, I was able to get this clean pretty easy. Unfortunately, um, when this starts to go bad, it's time to think about getting a new dishwasher. Um, I, like I said, I cleaned this, I think, two weeks ago, and it was already starting to fill up with junk. And that's mainly because... So this filter isn't working. So maybe if I just replace this, that would help out a, a bunch. But I also think, and I, and I can't verify it. I can't get down there and see. You know, I, I'm just using my best guess, but I do know those teeth look really, really ground out. And my dishwasher's not loud anymore because I think it finally um, wore those teeth away. It was loud for a couple years, and I just didn't do anything about it. But I realized... When it starts getting loud, you really should go down here and at least try to clean this out. Because like I said, this is supposed to be cutting all of that food particles off of this and wiping it and keeping it clean. And it's not doing that job at all anymore. So now we're going to put it back together.
this can be a little tricky um, but because you this is flexible so it, thankfully it's not like a rigid shaft that's kind of it's just plastic floating around in there but you got to get it you got to get it on that black thing that shaft the white thing has to go on it oh yeah I want to oh yeah one thing so see how this see how that has a, a notch and just on the opposite side there's a notch okay I forgot to tell you so the not it has to go like this so those notches rest on this little shoulder here Okay, so that's the hardest part of the whole job but this is where it goes don't try to get it on that inner groove I tried that for my first time doing this I tried getting it on that inner groove for about a half hour and that's not where it goes it just sits on this outside groove and everything's kind of nice and straight and now this thing is just gonna snap into place but we're also gonna have to put that screw in snap but it's down it's down all the way and then we're gonna put that screw in okay so we got that screw in now's the time to put this in it's also a good time to clean this this area right here where your door closes gets really dirty it's a good time to clean that again don't forget to clean this and you can kind of clean the whole area so you can see this has a tube it goes down into that tube That's going to line up with, with that. And there, you just kind of press it down, then the screws, we'll put all the screws in. Okay, so we got to put this on now. And we got to start over here where we left off. So make sure you can kind of see how that goes in there. And it'll give you, get once you get it lined up, just kind of turns and snaps okay and it's not gonna come out and that's where it goes and we're gonna put the other piece in okay, so now we're gonna start at the bottom and work our way up so we're gonna put the bottom in first okay that snapped in then we can just snap in these we can just snap in the middle one and then we got this top one metal piece to snap in so it doesn't flop okay so hopefully this will help like I said if your dishwasher is loud and if it's not cleaning this is a really good area to start so again this is just a dad if you could please like and subscribe and thank you for watching